No. Casey is in darkness now. <laughs> the dark Casey. The nega Casey. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can see the light from the camera in the eyeball. That's cool. Anyway, so. Uh, it's really distracting that I'm so dark right now. Um, zero interest. Uh, Ruby, season three, episode four. Lessons learned, I want to say it's called. Lessons learned. Yeah. 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 So, uh, take it away. We start off with the fight between um, Mercury's team and Coco's team. Or the two people from each. And Mercury is really strong. He is really strong. Yeah. Uh, we haven't. I haven't seen him go all out like this, uh, pretty much ever. I mean, he did a little mock battle against Pyrrha. Yeah. But you could I, tell he was just trying to gauge I, her abilities. I could argue this isn't necessarily all out either. This is just him. Oh out no, he's strength, like so that he can win but so that he doesn't give away holy shit he is incredibly strong and we should be watching him yeah since he's a villain he's obviously got like you know this isn't even my final form you know that type of like i'm only using 50 percent of my power yeah type thing but he can he can handle both of those like people at the same time yep without, with ease without problem yep to the point where he and, got one of them to point their weapon at the other one. Yeah. It, it felt like he was playing with them more than anything else. Yeah. And so, good old uh, Aladdin lady, Emerald, uh, pulls Coco into the forest, breaks her sunglasses, pisses her off a little bit, and disguises herself as her teammate to go and try to sneak up on her. And it's like, oh, your teammate has just been out what my team was said? Oh no. Uh basically uh Cinder's teammates take out the other team pretty handily. Yep. And we get a clue as to Emerald Semblance basically illusions. Yeah. Well didn't we see that earlier? I feel like we saw that earlier. I don't think we have. If if we have, it's news to me. You don't have to remind me. Like, we've seen a like, big uh, pocket, but that's about it. I feel like we saw her semblance earlier, because I was, like, in season two or something. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, so they defeat them after a really cool fight with really cool music. God, yes. I and, love the season three soundtrack. It is my favorite of the three that oh, are out so yeah. far. Oh, my it God. Is, it is winning me over every time they play a new song. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, Velvet Rabbit over there is just kind of sad, and Cinder just cockily leaves. And we cut over to uh, Weiss and Winter. And Winter, like, I, I mentioned in the, last epi- in the last episode that when I could see Winter kind of caring more for Weiss. Here it's a lot more evident. Mm-hmm. And, like, she's like, hey, well, you know, you got to it's like joking about how bad their dad is. Mm. Weiss, you've done well out here on your own. You should be proud. I'll be honest, it was quite amusing seeing Father's face the day you left for Beacon. A little bit. And, uh, you know, she's talking about summoning and being like, hey, you know, you should, you need to get summoning down. Yep. Zero pretty much came in his pants at the, at the mere mention of the word. So I was like, I was like, oh boy, oh boy, summoning. Yes, he was actually doing that while we were watching it. Yes. I'm like, yeah, that that's really cool because she summons, and it's like a grim, but it's like glowing white and blue. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh boy, because like a summon done right can make for some of the most epic action scenes. The implication on how it works is it 
they can summon enemies that they defeat that allow them to grow and become stronger. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Significant enemies. That's cool. Okay. Because, like, I've played Bayonetta 1 and Bayonetta 2, and when you summon a freaking demon in those games and you just finished your enemy off with that, is the coolest feeling. And, you know, Bayonetta 2, you have to go and defeat your old summons to get them back. Uh, or some of them, rather, but that's kind of like this, where you have to defeat something to get its power, essentially, as a summon. Hmm. Yeah, so... And... Then they talk about um, how Weiss got cut off from Daddy's money. Well, family money. I'm not going to say Daddy's money, because... Well, they talk shit about well, that... it, and there's, there's a good reason for that, but... Um... Well, there is a there is a cut after that is a... first summon that Winter does. Yeah, Winter summons, and then she's like, "This is how you do it, right?" And then we cut over to Crow and oh, Ruby. Yeah. yeah, you're right. And they're playing fighting games, which is fun. Mm. I like playing fighting games with my family. Of course, none of them play fighting games with me anymore because I beat them all the time. Mm. So, <laughs> uh, you know. They make the fighting game kind of generic, and it's just, hey, it's a fighting game, and there are ninjas in it. You would think they could do, like, a cool fighting game just based on the Vital Tournament. Like, they could have a oh. roster that expands based on people that fought in the Vital Tournament, and there's, like, royalties that Huntsman would get from appearing in the game and stuff like that. Yeah, they I may could. or may not be throwing this idea around for, for the story I'm writing. Just maybe. <laughs> <laughs> So, essentially, uh, Crow is really awesome at video games, and he proceeds to beat her and Yang while telling them a story about a time when he was going on an adventure, mm. and he was very, very tired, and so he went to an inn to gather more information, and he went in, and he was instantly defeated by the length of that girl's skirt. Mm. <laughs> it was a little awkward, but Zero found it funny, so... I found it funny because it's like Yang's like, oh, come on! Because mm. he's beating her at the same time while telling the story. Mm. You know, cause it's just like the art style changed, that really epic art style they do. And I was like, wow, this is like a step up from the things I've seen previously. And then it's just, oh, hey, girl skirt. Mm. Beat me. It's like, I like Pro. Mm. Uh, yeah. Good old Scarecrow. Uh, Shocker, you managed to guess who it is. He was complaining during the episode yeah. that I never asked. And yeah, there's a reason <laughs> I never asked. Because it's obvious. Mm. <clears throat> so the crew is almost uh, complete, by the way, the Wizard of Oz crew. There's only one missing we who we'll meet later. The lion. Mm. Yeah. And so, yeah, they, they talk and hang out. And they're all fun and then he show he takes out a picture uh the picture that we see in the opening of the family and he noticeably moves his thumb over yang's mom's face remember you're talking to a member of the coolest team to ever graduate beacon <sighs> team stark zero said it's because there's some bad blood there i'm gonna say he's not wrong because it's fairly obvious there would be bad blood since she, you know, bailed on everyone, and he didn't. Um, Actually, I've been thinking it might be, uh, like, I said bad blood, but I also was, like, thinking that there is... I, I don't want to go out right and say it, but I, I, I think maybe there's a chance he was, like, he liked her or was in love with her or something. And then she, and so like, he liked her. Uh, Ruby and Yang's uh, dad was hooking up with Ruby's mom, uh, and then okay, you I'm, know, I'm gonna stop Ru right here because I think I have an implication of what you're talking about. Uh, you saying there was some infatuations going on between Crow and somebody? Yes, uh, I'm saying there was a an Bear interconnected. In mind, he is. Uncle Crow, 
That is not just, hey, he's the friend of the family, oh, so they call him uncle. He is oh, legitimately Yang's oh. uncle. Oh, okay. Oh, that's his sister. Mm. Yeah, oh, he wow. was way on the wrong track. <laughs> I was thinking. I, mean, I was it, thinking. I was thinking possible. he might be. I think. He, I was thinking he might be Ruby's mom's brother, if anything. No, he's uh, Raven's brother, and they're twins. So okay. it could theoretically be what you're talking about, and there's a bit of a Lannister thing going on, but I doubt it. No, I was. I was confused then, because I have an uncle who's just a friend of family that we just call by uncle. Yeah, so. I, I had the same thing. Um. So. Okay, so that's his sister. And then she ran off. Mm -hmm. There's Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, I was confused. It might be a combination of bad blood because of that, and because he knows how much it hurts Yang to think about her mom, and all the stupid stuff she's done looking for her mom. And so he's maybe just trying to curb that a little bit. That's yeah, and, and really, I really want to find out what happened when she met her mom at the end of season two. Remember that? Mm. They bring it up. It doesn't really go anywhere. <clears throat> There's a reason for it. I keep saying that, but there is always a reason for it, which is a good thing about this show. Just saying. Yeah, and then we cut back to uh, Weiss and Winter, and Weiss is trying to summon, and she's like, oh, I can't do it. And Winter's like, if, if you have that attitude, you aren't going to get anywhere. Hmm. Basically, uh, do you want to? Dad's already cut you off, hasn't hasn't he? And she's like, how do you know? Well, he kind of did the same thing for me when I was going into the military. Yep, and like I said, Weiss really looks up to her sister. She's literally following in her footsteps. Yeah, and. Uh, She's like, okay, you can either call him and ask for m and beg for money and explain why you're going to this academy, or you can go and explore Remnant and go on and, and discover more about the world and about yourself. Basically, it was what she was saying. Mm. And uh, then they hug and Winter leaves because she's yeah. going to do something else. And, and I noticed as they were leaving, there's that little blue glowing sword. That the caterpillar is nudging against. Hmm. Which is probably and I'm not like, healthy oh. for the caterpillar, but you know, whatever works. And I, and I immediately remembered, I immediately remembered, like, okay, what... What has she defeated that could wield a sword? Tell me. The trailer. You remember her trailer? When she fought that giant knight thing? Mm. I think she's going to summon that freaking giant knight thing. And that's mm. why I'm excited right now. Because that would be... That'd be really cool. That thing was really tall and really awesome. Anyway, so after that happens, we get... It cuts to nighttime and we get... Uh, Winter's ship flying away and Weiss looking on and she gets a call from her dad and she ignores it and smiles to herself and we get Miriam and part two playing in the background and yeah. Zero is happy and I really, yeah, I really liked it fucking soundtrack this season man it's great, it's so good it, that song just tends to yeah it's, it's really good the lyrics are really good because it's one of the softer songs hmm which I find really cool because like all the Yang songs tend to be actiony. I'm going to kick your butt. Mm. Uh, I think gold is also a Yang song and that's I, more I think like, it is, yeah, it's, it's kind of a Yang looking after Ruby style song. Yeah. It's, it's more of like oh, a, a soothing, like I'm going to protect you type yeah. thing. Uh, and like, you know, Blake has the more, yeah, we're gonna rise up in rebellion and stuff. Mm. And and Ruby has the, the, the usually the really fast actiony songs. Uh, uh, but like it, ish, I mean, Red Light Roses Part One was yeah more of a quietly it, maudlin kind of song. Yeah, Part Two is fast and also sad. Mm. Uh, 
and like the the way uh, Mirror Mirror works is it's more uh, the, the 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 way it's it's done is like really just I like it. It's really soft. It's really well done. It, it comes across as distinctively different, mm. and I don't know. I really like it. You would be uh, happy to know there is a, a not necessarily a remix, but a, another reimagining of the second season opening. That is a piano ballad. Oh. Okay, that has me really interested now. Hmm. Like I say, that's probably good. soundtrack, man. It's so good. God damn. Yeah. So uh, that's it for the episode. But uh, final thoughts. So far, season three is shaping up to be my favorite season. Uh, because it's just... First of all, I love tournament arcs. But aside from that, just the amount of character they're putting into everything and introducing the family and how that... In, shows different sides of people's characters. In fairness, it's not an especially high bar because season one had season one yeah. problems. Season two spotted out, like not even spotted out, squitted out. It was just kind of like season two had had problems where it's like season two had problems where at the very end it kind of yeah. But even in the beginning, like. I feel like they could have set up more of the uh, things are going to get serious now or than in the last couple episodes. Yeah, the beginning and end were really rough. The middle, well, I'd say the beginning and end were kind of rough. The early middle was kind of almost fillery. But yeah. But that, that sequence of like three or four episodes where they're first going to Mountain Glen was so integral yeah. that I think season two still beats season one. Yeah, by quite a margin, but yeah, it's a world of difference between two and three, in my opinion. So, I'm expecting season four when we get to that to blow me away uh, even more. And even if it doesn't, you know, as long as it can still live up to some aspects of season three, it should be fine. I'll say I have no idea because it's not over yet. Ah. For, for us while we're recording, by the way, audience, because, you know, it's like nine, ten episodes in, somewhere around there, while we're recording this. And by the time this comes out, it will have been over for like six months. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well that's it. Um, I, we'll see you guys. I would release these even faster if it didn't take, t- take so long to edit them. So, yeah. Bye. Bye, buddy.